The focus of my speech will be a work response to an article which appeared in the Nation newspaper of October 8th, 2007. Under the heading Outstanding Barbados Labour Party Record in St. George, written by one Glenn Clark. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please permit me to make a comment that may prove informative and educational to those on the other side who always seem eager to pat themselves on the back for whatever contribution they make to our development. Tonight I say to them that the passage of time and population growth dictate the needs of any society. Population growth, ladies and gentlemen, affects every aspect of any society. What we have need of today could never be the same as 10, 15, or 20 years ago. So if they want to compliment themselves for having addressed some of the basic needs of our time, then let them go right ahead. What has increased significantly, however, is the need for public officials to conduct their lives with decency, pride, and honesty. But instead, what have we gotten with this Barbados Labour Party administration? is a bunch of get-rich people who masquerade as representatives. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the writer also stated that to, for me to say that Cyril Walker constructed the only recreational facility in St. George is an untruth. Friends, I am no lunatic. I told the person conducting the interview after our mass canvas in Workman's and Rock Hall that the James Bryan Complex was the finest recreational facility in this parish and that Cyril Walker was responsible for its construction. That, my people, cannot be questioned. I never said it was the only one. That's what the newspaper chose to print. He went on to list the post office and the police outpost at the valley as recreational facilities constructed during the 94 to 99 period. Now tell me my dear friends, what kind of recreational activity takes place at a post office or a police outpost? This tells me therefore that there is urgent need for a review of our literacy rate. We keep on asking, what is wrong with our young people? Well, there lies the answer. The person who wrote the article was once a school teacher. Tonight, I will ask several questions and hope, just hope, to get some answers sometime in the future. If the Barbados Labour Party's record in this parish has been so outstanding, why is it that no space was allocated in this facility called a marketplace for the St. George farmers to sell their produce? Wouldn't that have shown some kind of interest in agriculture and small farmers in particular? Why was Victor Eswick told that he makes a million dollars a year from the St. George farmers market? And so he should keep his business where it is currently located over there. Why are these said farmers now being offered a spot above this market to construct a facility but at their own expense? Why is it that after 13 years and on the eve of a general election, George Park Cricket Club? which occupies the playing field to our left, okay. now seem ready for a pavilion. Uh -huh. I will answer my own question. As a result of my association with the members of George Park Cricket Club, 
and the many friends and relatives I have in these surrounding districts, they know that I am going to do well here. And so they are making a desperate effort to hold on to a few votes. Pero es demasiado tarde. That is Spanish. That is Italian. It is zu spät. That is German. The English translate it is too damn late. is what I refer to as Colin Spencer induced activity. Now since the record is so outstanding, where are the hard courts that were supposed to have been constructed west of Sheffield Plainfield some 10 years ago? It's the facility at Laura State which houses Sheffield Cricket Club, part of their outstanding record Although it was provided by Sir, by Sir Richard Haynes and Sir Walker, does their outstanding record make them oblivious to the fact that the facility has outlived its usefulness to our community and is in urgent need of an upgrade? <laughs> land to Erie Hill form part of their outstanding record although it cannot accommodate vehicular traffic but was built at a time when government had plenty of that money does the fact that 11 landowners no longer have access to their property at Grove Cottage constitute part of their outstanding record is it outstanding that the housing minister rubber stamped that the then housing minister rubber stamped the sale of a lot that he had said would have been left vacant to provide access to the said properties? Are some people of Golden Ridge and Redland who don't know if they are coming who have to fetch water from the standpipe on a daily basis factored into this outstanding record? Why wasn't John, John Webster of Workman's given assistance after his house was destroyed by fire some two and a half years ago? John was too proud to return to his mother's house at Rock Hall. So he spent the days in a Suzuki van and at night slept at a location in St. George South, which he has asked me to never disclose. A prime example of the state turning its back on its people. Thank the good Lord, John is doing fine today.